Kelo, Morse code is a method used in telecommunications to encode text characters as a standardized sequences of two different signal durations called dots and dashes. Morse code is named after Samuel Morse, one of the early developers of the system adapted for electrical te telegraphy. Ham operators typically use a telegraph key or pedal to manually input Morse code, which is then transmitted via radio waves. In one of my previous videos, I described a device that automatically decodes Morse code characters into letters, whereby we can follow this type of communication without knowing the Morse code. In order to be able to communicate completely in this way, we also need a device that will convert plain text into a Morse code signal, which is compatible with the radio transmitter. Exactly such device is described in that project, in the project that follows. The text is entered through a standard PS2 keyboard and a 5 volt relay module is, played, is placed and D7 output through whose contacts the generated Morse signal is sent to the transceiver. The relay contacts behave, behave identically to the telegraph key. There is also a small piezo buzzer for audio presentation. Specifically in this case, instead of a relay, I put a LED that visually only visually represents the, the signs. The type, tep, the type text is displayed on a LCD display. Uh, the device is really simple to make and consists of only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board, LCD display 128 on 64 dots with ST7565 driver chip, then PS2 uh, female keyboard connector, one LED or 5 volts relay board and small buzzer. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. The text moves uh, appears on the display when the device is turned on and when it is ready. On the upper right part of the screen uh, is displayed the typing speed expressed in two words per minute. The transmission speed can be changed from 1 to 30 words per minute and that speed can be changed using page down and page up keys. The text that we type on the keyboard appears on the display. At the same time, we can edit or correct it and then and then by pressing enter, a Morse code is generated from that text, which we simultaneously hear on the buzzer and see on the LED diode. While the signal is being sent, we can enter new text. And finally a short conclusion, learning to transmit Morse code with a manual key and decode it seems to be an anachronism to the age of computers. Uh, in this and the previous uh, project, I present you a very simple and easy way to enter the world of DX communications without learning Morse code, which requires a lot of time, skill and effort. And at the end the device is built into an corresponding housing made of PVC material and covered with a self-adhesive colored wallpaper. And now let's look at the method of making this device. 